Well, the minute they came down, I knew that number two would be the one for her. Toulouse criteria is tall, tall, tall. She should have had on her application form tall, honestly. It's like the most important thing. Number three was garish and not to be rude, but just a bit in your face. Tulu prefers conservative, smart, and someone who will, like, frankly, match her. She likes somebody who, you know, she'll look good with. And, um, yeah, he seems to have class, style, and some personality, too. I think that they should have fun together. No, I knew she would. <laughs> you should know. Do you like mine? So you, that makes you feel a little better now. Makes me feel really good. You're in with the mates. That's Thank always you. very, very helpful. Okay, I have a little job for the two of you. Video cameras. I want you to record your innermost thoughts for us. When you've got a moment alone, stick that in your face and tell us how you're feeling. So keep a video diary for us. Can all you do right, that? All right, all okay. right. Is that okay? <laughs> yeah. Now, as I said, you are going to Dublin. Uh -huh. My hometown. Miss everybody so much. But I'm going to be there. So you are going to have a fantastic time. I've just I'm... come back. Oh, really? Yeah. You're coming back again with me. And you're going to have a good time. I'm going to bring you out for a night and we'll have a great time. Okay? Okay. And the poor lads that didn't get to go to Dublin, they're probably devastated. Yes, I think they are. Guys, you gutted about missing out on a trip to Dublin. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. It means I'm in work now on Wednesday, so... Oh, really? Yeah, <laughs> not good. Double gut? Double gut. Wes? Um, no, not really gutted about missing out on Dublin. Could have been somewhere nicer, but, yeah, a bit gutted. Yeah, could yeah. have been the other side of the yeah. world, couldn't it? Yeah, definitely. Instead of just stay with the old Irish Sea. <laughs> well, stay right here, because it's time for a quick break, but still to come, we get to the bottom of Sophie's date with Leon. So it still don't know she's thinking, but tonight's... Uh, I'm going to make the move, find out once and for all. Before the break, we saw Tolu pick Ed, and they told Brendan their first thoughts. Give me a mark out of ten for Ed. Eight. Eight? <laughs> yeah. That's quite high. Quite, yeah, because it is like a chemistry thing. It's like, just... Actually, I feel like a gooseberry right now. <laughs> I, I can feel it just flowing across my front of my face. And still with me are the second round. Losing, boys. Come on, boys. Me. Me now. I'm a left-handed loser. <laughs> I was going to say, you're both left-handed losers. Have you had time to recover from the shock of rejection yet? Well, it's, it has sinking, I'll say now, definitely. I think losing is going to tell the family and friends I'm back tomorrow, really. So. <laughs> Did you have your suitcase all packed, ready to go? I've oh, been packed, you know, my mum packed it for me last night. Your mum packed it for you? And even down to my parents and bed, but it looks like it's not in use anymore. Ken, are you a mummy's boy? Certainly am, certainly am. My mum won't be impressed after she said that about me not being torn there. Yeah. I know, well, you got it, you were dumped. Jumped at the first hurdle. Well, I suppose, I, I, I do prefer a little sister to a big sister walking around with, so. How tall are you? Five, five foot, and seven, uh, five foot nine. Five foot nine? Or five foot eight, I think. There's nothing wrong with that. I don't think, Wes, how tall are you? Five eleven. There's nothing wrong with either of those. She was quite tall, though, wasn't she? It was tall. I've not seen her. I think she was just wearing high tall. heels and that big beef on hair as well made her a couple I of inches taller. And maybe I called her a beast as well. Or something. <laughs> you called her a beast. Well, I called her a beast. Oh, beauty and a beast. I says, uh, uh, even if you are a beast, I can still play the beauty. Well, I'm not surprised now, <laughs> frankly. Cheeky. Now, um, I just have to say, Ken, that we are going to show a little bit of your audition tapes now. I think they're very, very <laughs> no. funny. And uh, it is, this is what the auditions held in London, Manchester and Edinburgh. And I think it's fair to say that Ken's was the strangest audition piece we've had so far. Bye, how are you? Hello, I'm Ken, I'm from North Wales, and I want to be on Blind Date to find all of my dreams. Hi, my name's Wesley, I'm from Colchester, and I'm here today to audition for Blind Date Extra. Hi, my name's Ed. No, it's not Extra, is it? It's the normal one. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I'm from Devon, and I'm here today to audition for Blind Date. I should really thank lots of people for bringing me here. So I'd like to thank my mum and dad for doing what they did. <laughs> I'd like to thank my friends for supporting me. I'd also like to thank my goldfish, because my goldfish, it swims around and I get to watch it. The thing is, my goldfish did die yesterday. But... <laughs> so I went out to get new shoes because my goldfish did die, so I'd have something else to thank my new shoes. <laughs> so that's my party piece, thanking everybody. Well, uh, I did a cookaberry. Me and my friends would go out down in shots, say a double vodka. Whoever finishes last has to do a cookaberry. <laughs> they send you over to a group of girls of their choice. And you have to start doing the cookie butter, and the cookie butter, and the cookie butter. 
and that's why I'm on blind date. Did the stars fall out of the sky when they dropped into your eyes? My nickname's Monkey Boy. <laughs> I can skip with my arms through 360 degrees, so it's really quite nasty. You only walked past you there, I'm sorry. My party piece is Michael Jackson. Normally people tell me to stop it after a while. If I go on a date with a girl, I'd love to take her to a football. Every girl I've taken to a football she lives in. I was really good at football when I was younger. <laughs> it was great. I wouldn't mind going out of anybody famous. Uh, perhaps someone a bit like um, Penelope Cruz. She's pretty damn tasty. Or Jennifer Love Hewitt. She's pretty damn tasty as well. It'd probably be Britney with brands. Yeah. I think it'd have to be Silly's personality and maybe carry books for the I think. Put them two together and you've got the perfect match.